Hey, what is up guys? My name is Seth Road and today I will be doing a little tutorial on how to record your screen as in XSplit it is local recording, that's what it's called in XSplit Broadcaster. Um this this is what people want um because it's what it does is it doesn't try and overlap recordings. All it tries to do is record the screen. It does not take over anything. This creates no lag whatsoever. This is literally... I've tried DX Story. I've tried Temptasia. None of these work. Yeah, so none of them have worked for me. And so what I've thought of doing is trying out new ones. And I've looked around the internet, tried to find everything. And literally could not find it. I stumbled upon this by accident. I literally tried... Um, trying to live stream, I live streamed a bit, and then I realized that I can go local recording. I was like, What's this? So I checked it out, messed around with it for a bit, and guess what? It was perfectly clear recording. Now, what you want to do, you want to go to this website, link will be in the description. Whoops, let's bring that on there. Sorry, I'm using the dual monitor. So you just want to go here, slash download and you just want you get to this page and you just want to click download XSplit broadcaster the version holy shit that's a long version but 1.3.1311.1201 that's a long version how many versions have they had okay but um that is the latest version it might change by the time you watch this depends when you watch it but once that is done, when you open it up and install and everything, you just want to go, you just want to open it up, um, then you have to sign up. It's it's completely free. You will have lots of features, just not as many. So once you've signed up and everything, you've signed in, this is what it will look like. Well, that's a loop. De loop, de loop. But this is what it will look like. Now, this is the main basis. This is how you live stream just go edit channels and everything and you just go add and then you go more it'll bring you to the plugin store and you just search through the plugin store and that's how you live stream but I'll be going over that in a different day so now what you want to do once this is open you want to find broadcast and local recording should already be there this is local recording this is the recording so now what you want to do, you just want to right click with your mouse. Yes, it sounds weird, but yeah, right click, yes. And this will be, I'm pretty sure it's on, no, it's not there, it's this one. Yeah, I think, I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but um, it's on one of these. And you just want to make sure it turns on AAC, LC, HQ. Now, what, the, what it'll be on at first is FLV. And FLV is another program um, that it's a video opening software like Media Player. But um, it is not as good and sometimes can mess up your audio. So you can record a whole audio and your audio won't be showing up. So just one tip, go to a change this to ACLCHQ. Now your bit rate, this doesn't really matter. It does not do much. So just leave that at what it is. I've changed mine a bit. I'm not sure 100% what it does. So I don't want it to be the cause of anything. Now what you want to do. You need to set up your recording. So for this instance. I'm just going to go get up Minecraft. Wait for it to load. Let's put this over there. Oops. No, that doesn't go like that sadly. Okay so I'm just going to wait for it now. I'm just going to put that back up like that. Now, what happens now is I have to go add. Now, these some of these you will not be able to do. See, so add a game you will not be able to do. That will not work, but that is completely crap unless you want to live stream your PS3. What you want to do, you want to go here and you want to go add screen region. Now, this is what makes Minecraft not laggy. So you just want to set your screen region. I'm just going to guess. Not adding the top or anything. There. And I'm just going to click play. And as you can see. It has now came up with this screen right here. This is a small version. And that's it, what it will come up like in the recording. So if you want to change it. Just once again. Just right click this image. Now you'll see the width and the height, but not much with anything else. I do not know what it does. Sorry about that. 
but this is all you need to do. You need to change the width, click it, drag all the way up. Height, click it, drag all the way up. Now, what that is, that's, I think that's a HD. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that's a HD. What is it? No, that's 480 at the moment. So you can just change the resolution here to 720, which is a lot bigger screen. And full H this is not full HD, but it's HD. So now, once you've got it up, you just want to click your Minecraft. And I just want to quickly move this over. But now this is recording my Minecraft. And as you can see, I'll just click for YouTube. Oh, I think I've messed it up. Yeah, I've messed up with water. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be right back. So, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Um, But, uh, yeah. As you're going to be about to see, I am not meant to be showing this because this is my new invention that I'm still working on. But this is just for the video testing. At the moment, I'm getting 42 f 30 frames. As you can see, the video is actually quite clear still. As you can see, this isn't even the best computer. I don't get much more frames than um around 60 no more than 60 and this is running really clearly actually and this is actually quite a big build this could lag someone's computer quite heavily and i'm also recording on this too and it works perfectly looks nice nice and smooth good for recording perfect recordings as you can see yeah so, thank you guys for watching. My name is Sir Road. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Well, oh, I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. I was so close. If you want to add your voice, just click here and go add audio device and choose your microphone. Okay, now I'm actually going to go. See you guys. My name's Sir Road. Peace out.